everyone. I hope you had an awesome week. Just want to say sorry I haven't been uploading the videos as I had a cell phone problem. My charger has been monkeyed thanks to little Bella, Madison and Chloe. So I got a wireless charger but it took forever to charge my phone and once it has been charged my phone was so hot so I decided to go and get another charger and now the problem is resolved as you can see Lexi got a friend and his name is Flippy so they are in two separate cages for now as she needs to accept him first the thing about the Marmoset monkeys they don't always accept another friend. Where the capuchins, they accept everybody. So everybody, all the other capuchins are welcome in a tribe where the mademoiselles, they actually choose who they want to interact with. So hopefully this is going to be a success and they're going to be best friends. But for now, let's keep them separate and see where it goes. One thing about the monkeys, if it's a marmoset or a capuchin, all the monkeys likes to be groomed. So Lexi and I came to this understanding where I can actually stick my hand into the cage and groom her without her biting me or giving me any warning signs. So what I'm doing is I'm just giving a slight massage and I'm pulling her hair in the different direction or the opposite direction. And then they get hypnotized. They absolutely love it. I don't know for how long I can do this because of the male monkey that is here, little Flippy, because once the monkeys do get a partner they do attempt to i won't say turn on you but they do attempt to get territorial and they don't want to share and that's where the biting comes in but for now i'm taking full advantage of this and as you can see lexi she is loving every single moment so let's massage that little tummy and the little bummy and then I'll get their breakfast ready. So I think if Lexi could speak, that is, mommy, please don't stop. She is so enjoying it. That little face, it speaks a thousand words. Just look at that little eyes and that little nose. But also look at that sharp, very long teeth. And that's what I'm actually scared of. But I don't show her I'm scared. I just put on a brave face and just give her the love and attention that she wants. I just want to kiss her on that little face. But they are not allowed to get in contact with any human spit. If I can say it like that. Because we've got that virus that gives you cold sores. And even though you don't have cold sores or never had one, we still have that virus in us. And once they get interacted with that virus, that's when they become very ill and they can actually die from it. So for now, let's just give her the loveys and the huggies and the groomings. Flippy is actually two years old, where Lexi, she's three years old. He has also been hand raised and has never been with another marmoset monkey. So this is a first for both of them and I really do hope they do accept each other. 
in the Marmoset world, the female does the accepting work. And if she doesn't accept him, we cannot put them together. Flippy, he's very placid and very happy. He's actually so adorable. But hopefully, Lexi, she'll come around and they'll be best friends. Guys, have you ever seen something as perfect as baby Madison? She had a big day playing with the big boys, and taking a nap in Bella's pram, happy in La La Land. She can't keep her eyes open. She had so much fun, but wait until she wakes. Then she wants to go back with the other monkeys. But mostly she prefers to entertain and play on her own. Bella, she is very close to little Madison, but Madison, she's more intrigued with Lily. At the moment, I'm getting the bigger cage ready for Lexi and Flippy. I just added some wire because the gaps of the cage is much bigger than the smaller one. As you can see the difference. So I'm just scared Flippy and Lexi might get out. Better safe than sorry. So once I'm done, I'm going to put Lexi in and see how she loves the big cage. Done and dusted. Everything is in and Lexi as well. She actually loves the bigger space. I don't think she is used to it, but she is enjoying it and I'm feeling much better. Now the only thing is for Flippy to come visit and then we'll see if we can put them together. They did get along with the two cages next to each other, so hopefully everything will work out. So, I've got one question, and that is, where did the monkeys get the black bag? It is everywhere in pieces. I saw it in the monkey room inside the house, and when I came in here to start cleaning, I can see there is bits and pieces everywhere. So I'm going to start cleaning the cages now. So maybe, just maybe tomorrow morning, me, Bella and Chloe can sleep a bit late and not have to worry about waking up early to start cleaning. I'm not even halfway and I'm already out of breath. Phew, these monkeys can make a mess. But I'm almost done. Then I have to go do that cage, then the room, start this supper, and then I'm just going to relax. It's been a long day fixing Lexi's cage. Thankfully she is happy, she is playing. I've been cleaning these cages for three years, every single day, three times a day. And for some reason, I keep on bumping my head on the scaffolding. I don't know why, I know it's there, but I always misjudge it. Also the tree, it keeps on poking me in the face. And for some reason, I cannot seem to get used to the space. For some reason, I misjudge everything and I walk out with more pains and aches than happy smiles. My friend Choco decided he is going to remove the light switch. So, we've got two active wires. We've got 10 active monkeys and it won't be a good picture. I'm going to try and fix it by myself. Hopefully it won't go wrong. So if you don't hear from me after this, you know what happened. But I'll quickly see if I can put this back and also to make an extra cover for the light so they won't be doing that again. I was actually thinking of removing this light switch and moving it 
over here where they can't reach it. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if you can do that. But for now, I just need to fix it before the other monkeys, they come in and start to play with this. And yeah. I think the next thing I need to order is a head cam or I don't know what you call it. So I can actually do the videos while I am fixing the stuff the monkeys destroy. I think I'm first going to give this thing a wash. But yes, next thing, head cam. Okay, so I got it in with no shock. I quickly want to give this a nice wipe. I don't know if I should bring a lot of water close to it. But I'll take a wet wipe and just clean it before I put it back. Then... I need to see how I can modify it so it actually looks like the other switches and the box. So I know next time this won't happen again. Look who came to the rescue. He's quickly going to fix it and then I can open for the babies. And as usual, everybody is inspecting what we did. And who's the culprit? Bella and Chloe. Well guys, that is it for me for today. So, I would just like to thank you guys for watching and all your support. And like I said before, to all the newcomers, welcome and please remember to like and subscribe. Chloe, don't stick your fingers in little holes where it shouldn't be.